Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I'm bringing you this uh, video today from the fantastic Clonakilty Distillery in the tour of Clonakilty in West Cork in Ireland. So we just finished the guided experience. It's about a 40 minute tour and if you've ever wanted to learn all the intricate details that go into producing whiskey, I highly, highly recommend coming on this. So we're just learning that this distillery, at one point there was actually more than 1,000 different whiskey distilleries operating on the island of Ireland. Irish whiskey is of course famous, but in modern times it's become more associated with these big drinks labels. And our tour guide was explaining that in recent years, the craft whiskey scene, like in some other parts of the world, is going through a real renaissance here. So it's actually kind of incredible to think that this distillery is regarded as a quite a small distillery because looking at those gigantic copper distillation vats, it's absolutely huge. Um, we got an incredible amount of information on this tour. We were learning about Irish whiskey. It's distilled three times and the huge amount of effort that goes into crafting whiskey. You almost feel bad uh, drinking it. The tour does culminate in the tasting room. You can see here, I'm trying some of their uh, whiskey. It's available on their website. They ship to customers in Europe and customers beyond. Um, in the first few years of running a distillery, something I thought was really interesting, apparently the distilleries blend different whiskey from different distilleries rather than produce their own. That's because the process of making whiskey, starting with harvesting literally the barley in the field, malting the barley, going through all the, fan, all the very interesting stages we learned about in the tour, that actually takes such a long time that it's actually not for the first number of years. So they were saying that it might be as long as two more years before um, their own whiskey all done here, Clonakilty West Cork comes to market. But given the, given the success of certain Irish whiskey brands selling internationally, like Teelings for instance, I think uh, there's definitely a good chance you're going to be seeing Clonakilty whiskey um, all over the world not too long in the distant future. The really interesting thing about this part of the world, Clonakilty, the surrounding territory, like Ardfield, is that there's such an incredible coastal climate, which they're explaining is actually a perfect climate for producing whiskey. Uh, not too cold in the winter, not too warm in the summer and uh, the air in, the, in this part of the world is actually so rich with sea salt that it literally saturates through the uh, fermentation barrels as the whiskey's aging and imparts that really, really unique taste. This distillery here, they're all about quality and um, bring that sort of unique West Cork flavor into their uh, whiskey as it sits and matures in those barrels. So if you're interested in whiskey or like me, you've always been a fan of whiskey, but you never really knew too much about it and you're passing through this lovely town of Clonakilty in West Cork, I definitely recommend coming here, taking the tour and uh, having some great whiskey as well.